Here we are, July 29, 2023, and we got one of the biggest fights boxing has seen in probably about 10 years. Um, the spreads are still pretty much the same. The money line for Crawford after the weigh-in yesterday is minus 150. He's a pretty heavy favorite to win. And you got Spence, uh, who holds three of the four belts, coming in at plus 120. So it seems like the public really likes Crawford. Uh, it's going to be very interesting. I think it goes like this. I think if uh, the fight goes to distance, we have Spence with a uh, win on the cards because Spence is only going to get stronger as the fight goes on. He's very fundamental. He's, he throws 70 punches per round. He's just going to keep landing. You got Crawford, who throws less punches, very precise with his punches, uh, the quicker man, the more athletic guy. Um, if he gets to Crawford early, if he gets to Spence early, cut him up a little bit. It could slow Spence down a little bit, or if he knocks him down, I think Crawford has to win by TKO or KO. So my money is going on Spence plus 120. You can also get a line where I think it's plus 120. Five, where you win a little bit more money if uh, Spence wins and he doesn't get more than 1.5 knock, knockdowns. So either way, I'm going with Spence plus 120 uh, to uh, win this fight. And we're going to look at some prize pick uh, props we uh, for tonight. Uh, and that's going to deal with boxing also. And we're going to look at a couple other baseball uh, props that I like for tonight. So let's get right into it. First thing we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at, uh, we're gonna look at the prize pick props for the Crawford Spence fight. Let's bring that up. The only one out there that I'm looking at for them is the uh, total punches landed. Uh, you got both of them at the prop of 142 and a half. Crawford lands around uh, 15 punches per round. I think he throws 20 something per round. I did that in another video, the very specifics of it. Uh, I think both fighters' punch landed totals will be less than prior fights. Uh, and I'm factoring it into the uh, punches landed prop for Terrence Crawford. I think he may go under the prop of 142.5 punches landed. And I'm kind of basing it on how I think the fight is going to go. I think the fight is going to go to distance. Spence, also 142 and a half. He throws 70 punches per round. He lands 20. 1.8 so basically 22 punches per round that he lands i think his punch landing output would be lower also probably about two or three punches but i'm going with the over 142 and a half punches landed for spence again this is based on my scenario that i think the fight will go the distance so let's let's look at it again i, I didn't put this up on the screen while i was talking but You got Crawford, 142 and a half punches landed. I think he goes over. I'm mean, under. I'm sorry. And you have Spence, 142 and a half punches landed. I think he goes over. So let's look at a few other props that I like today. And we're going to look at some MLB. And. The first one we're going to look at is going to be Taj Bradley. Taj Bradley. You won't get this prop on prize picks. So this prop is out of the books. We're looking at Taj Bradley. We're looking at his strikeouts of four and a half. Uh, currently the spread is minus 150 to go over. One plus 115 to go under. Let's look at Bradley a little closer here. His projection of, is around six strikeouts. 
as you can see, uh, in his last this season, he's went over four and a half strikeouts 10 out of 15 times. That's a 67 percent hit rate versus Houston. The only game he had, he had six strikeouts. And let's go back to the last 30 again. Again, the, the matchup over here is pretty middle of the road. I can't see why Bradley wouldn't go over four and a half strikeouts here based on our data-driven numbers here. So definitely consider Taj Bradley over four and a half um, strikeouts. And, and let's go to another player here. The second player I'm looking at is going to come from the hits category and it's going to be Mickey Monyak LA Angels 0 0.5 hits uh, is his prop because he's a heavy favorite to go under minus 175 go over I'm sorry minus 175 and and to go under plus 135. Let's look at him a little closer here. He's went over one hit in 17 straight games. That's a lot of games. That is a lot of games to get a hit. He is playing super great right now. Against the team he's facing, Toronto, one game he had one hit back on 728 which was yesterday that is a lot of games to get a hit a lot of games let's look at the last 30 again yep 17 straight games he's batting 361 against right-handed pitching he's facing a right-handed pitcher tonight in Alec Monia but remember all streaks come to an end, and 17 is a lot of games. It may not be bad to take a shot here at the under for plus 135, but the numbers, the numbers, the data-driven numbers that we're looking at, the data-driven numbers that we're looking at from one of the best, you know, things in the book here, Props that cash is telling me that this guy is gonna go over. He's gonna get a hit. But remember, all streaks come to a end. All streaks come to an end. So take that in consideration. So those are a few props that I like tonight. Uh Again, with the fight, um, hey, make sure you watch it. It's going to be a huge fight. I have a review tomorrow night about the, about the fight or tonight. Probably I'll just do it tonight after the fight is over. Looking forward to this fight. I think it's going to be real big. Can't wait to see it. Um, big day in sports, you know, a good day all around in sports. So... That is pretty much all I have. Go ahead, make sure you like, subscribe. All those things would be greatly appreciated. That's all I have today. See you on the next video.